23 AMC 8 2020. Yes. So this one is actually, uh, this one's really casework. So um, the way that I would do it is I'd say, let's, let's call the five awards one through five, right? And then we'll call the three students, A, B, and C. So for each of these five awards, we have to give them to A, B, or C. So for let's say award number one, there's three ways we can give it out. We either have to give it to person A, person B, person C. There's no other possibility. So there is three. So we multiply three. There's three possibilities for where we can give medal one. There's three possibilities for where we can give medal two. Three for medal three, three for medal four, three for medal five, right? So the total number of possibilities for how we can give it to these three students, if each of the awards are different, so when it says that they're different awards, that means we have to distinguish between them, right? So giving award one to A and award two to B is different from giving award two to A and one to B, right? So this means this three times three times three times three times three is gonna be 243. And that's the total number of possibilities. Now, the problem with that, the reason why it's not the answer choices and the reason why that's wrong is because it has this condition each student has to receive at least one award, right? So let's say that uh, we give out the awards to only two students like this. Well, A didn't get any and he needs to get at least one. So that's, that's, that's not a possibility, but we did count it into 243 possibilities. So that's why we're over counting. So what I do is I'd be like, so if we have 243, we're double counting all the times that only two of them get awards. So let's subtract those off, right? So let's say we're leaving C out, right? Well, for each of these five awards, there's exactly two ways we can give it to A or B because we can't give it to C. We're trying to like not give any to C. So there's two to give it to A or B. Same thing for each of the other four medals again. And that means that there's 32 ways to sort of exclude C. We're not giving any awards to C. And now before we subtract off 32, we have to note, notice that we can also exclude B or we can also exclude A. So we have to multiply this by three to account for excluding any one of the three, right? So 32 times three, that is 96. We subtract it from 243 and we get uh, 147. Now, uh, it seems like we're done here, but we're actually not because we already have still not finished counting because now we've double counted something in the negative side. So notice we just assumed that we have all the cases where everyone gets an award. So uh, it doesn't matter what. So everyone gets an award, all three of them. And then we subtracted off the cases where only two of them got the awards, but we never considered if one person gets every single award. So like, let's say person A gets every single award. So uh, we haven't considered this. So we've actually double counted it. So if we notice in the 243 possibilities, A getting all five awards is one of those possibilities. But then notice that the 32 possibilities where B doesn't get an award includes the possibility where A has all five, and so does the 32 possibilities where C doesn't get anything, which means that we're actually adding it once in the 243 and then we're subtracting it twice in the 96. So we need to add that possibility back on for each of the different ways we can give all the awards to one person. So we can give all five awards to A, we can give all five awards to B, or we can give all five awards to C. And there's exactly three ways we can do that. We either give them to A, B, or C. So after that, since we've all subtracted these twice, we have to add it back on. And we end up with 150. And we're finally done because we have accounted for all the possibilities. All three of them get awards. All two of the, only two of them get awards. Only one of them get an award. So it, there, there's only three students. We can't have more than three students get an award. We can't have zero students get an award since at least one of them is getting a, an award. So we have accounted for all the possibilities. 
So we're, we know we're done. Then the answer is 150.